Hey and welcome to Technosport.net videos and today we've got Windows 8 feature for you that's called a storage space which basically allows you to increase your it all uh, not increase like combine your external storage device like USB and uh, network devices and all those stuff into one virtual device you know so you feel like uh, you just have you know one drive where you have all the uh, space merged all one together so you need to come to Control Panel, System and Security, Storage Spaces. So just make sure you have the drives connected. So right now I have like two drives connected. One is really small, like 125 MBs. And the other is like 30.2 GB. It's a 32 GB drive. So we'll just say create new drive. Say yes. You will have the drive attached. That should be, I think there's a limitation on the probably size of the USB device of the small one doesn't get detected so that's why your reference so just include it and say create pool so this create pool now make sure all your data on that drive is packed up otherwise it will be gone so not preparing device so if you have multiple USB device connected so you know you can again add them and merge them together so just put a name say Ashish and say drive letter and I'll say two mirror so you can select two mirror, three way mirror, parity and all those find those details right in the post so I'll say none and I can go and create a 10 TV of uh, drive with this so what happens here is basically when you create space more than that it uses a concept of thin thinning where you know uh, create space on demand something like virtual this where the space gets increased at is required if you have used the virtual drives and all for so to create the format in the storage space so this is the first storage pool we are creating okay so we have the storage pool with us you can always rename this pool to something like maybe documents Go. So right now 1.25 GB is already being used. So it's something like uh, this is your storage pool. You have storage space inside it, and then you have physical drives. Now since this physical drive is already attached with the storage device, so you cannot just remove it. You could only rename it. And this is your storage space with 10 terabytes, but actually the drive is 29.5 GB only. So when the space is required, you'll be prompted about that. Find a snapshot of that prompt on the post itself. So now I've done that, I'll give you a view of the my computer. So you can see this new drive has come, which is of 10 terabytes. It's really, really big. It's gone from the removable storage device. And what you see here is the only 125 meter drive. So that's gone from here. So now you can always, you know, go to properties and do all those stuff, whatever you do so with the disk. So now, let me see if we can do a disk management on this. So go to disk. Yeah, we can do a disk management. Let's see if I'm allowed to do that or not. Okay, so that's a disk. A separate disk of 10 terabytes, so you can just say shrink volume and we'll say as five. Say shrink, there you go, and then you can say new simple volume, send letter M, MTFS, finish. There you go. So you have both drives available. So on that, when you come down here, you still have this one. It's pretty amazing. Okay, the other one hasn't come to until now. So it's only 4.77 GB. So waiting for the rest. Probably you have it soon. So now you can see the partition size has gone down. So that's like 4.47 TT. So we'll close that and we'll come here and no changes here. So you don't see any kind of change over here. Still the same physical drive storage device for you. 
So the biggest advantage now, you can always go and create new pool if you have another USB now. Unlucky that the smaller one doesn't work. Again, you can go and create another storage space and let's say we'll say it as media library and we'll say as n, we'll say none and you can say like 10 terabytes, but since I don't have another drive, so this will not work. So instead I'll say 10 and say create storage space and it'll add it to the existing storage pool. Okay, so now we have another drive with media and this is Ashish. So I'll just go to my computer and there you go. You have another one with 10 terabytes over here and that's the wooden one. So that's how you can create. So if you have a lot of external storage device, a CSI, SATA, whatever, you can just connect it, merge them into one, and you can have different storage pools, you can have different storage space, and just manage them together. And you don't have to worry about anything of fragmentation and all this stuff. So that's how you create the storage spaces. Um, you need to go to storage spaces. Search is awesome. So you can just go to uh, storage spaces and there you go that's how you do it just add up whatever you want and if you want to get rid of it so we'll turn it down also so if you want to get rid of it you can just say delete this it'll remove all your files also so just be careful with that Delete this also. So we've gone this. Now you will get an option to remove this also. So just remove it. So this removes your complete story pool. If you see my computer, all the stuff is just gone. So you create storage space and remove the USBs and whatever drives are. So make sure you use this feature on Windows 8. It's a very useful feature if you are already using a lot of network drive and all those stuff. Thanks for watching the video. It's called Story Spaces. Do make use of it and share this video with your friends and all. If you do have feedback, questions, put in the comments and talk to me. Thanks for watching.